What is up everyone, Adam Ingle, Daniel Allen coming at you from One Oak Field in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The reason we are facing us is because guess what? They've already turned the lights off to the field, man. We are uh, some of the only people here, Oklahoma State, man. They were, they bolted out of here after a loss, um, a walk-off walk for Oklahoma, 7-6 to snap Oklahoma State's 11-game win streak. It was a crazy game, Daniel. Not Honestly, not much going on really up until, you know, the later innings. You have a 4-3, I mean, seven runs scored in the um, second inning. But, Daniel, thoughts on this ball game? Yeah, um, you saw Oklahoma State jump out to an early 4 nothing lead. Um, obviously, Oklahoma responded with a bevy of two out singles to sure. cut into that lead, chip into that lead, and record three. Um, ultimately, game story was, you know, Blake Robertson, former Oklahoma State guy, right. uh, back in 2020, transferred to Coweta uh, College, uh, ended up at OU. Yeah, Cowley, right? Cowley. Got, got, Cowley. Yeah. Uh, ended up at uh, ended up at OU, and then um, obviously late game heroics to help his new team beat his old team. Right. Um, Trevor Martin. Um, that's not what we usually see from him. No, um, not at all. Didn't give up a, a very out, rare thing. Outside of that one yeah. single, he didn't give up a, uh, another hit. Outside right. Of that it was hit batter, um, two or three walks. Um, like you said, a walk off walk. Mm -hmm. um, just struggled to find command of his pitches, um, and uh, ultimately it ended up ended up with an outside right. walk that brought Sebastian Ordino in from third base to end the game. And uh, like Adam said, break Oklahoma State's eleven game. Win streak. Yeah, Daniel. And the other thing is, I think it's important to um, kind of preface the loss or just preface the end of the game with context of Martin. So there was one out, right? Right. Then they had, uh, I think it was Treadaway, I think, for Oklahoma coming up to bat. Holiday, coach Oklahoma State, they opted to intentionally walk the guy in favor of, you know, the, the logic behind that is to the, put the force out, force at, any out at any base. You can go wherever you want. Um, and unfortunately, Trevor Martin just happened to uh, pitch himself into a full count, um, full count jam or full count walk. Because here's the other thing. I mean, you 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 look at if um, you know if it's not a walk or if maybe it's not an intentional walk. We could be right. We could be talking about a whole different ball game, Daniel. Right. And the thing about baseball is, I mean, with that, I mean, a bunch of bunch of these late game decisions are risk. There's a they are fifty fifty shot. You know, with this. You walk. I mean, it brings a force at any base, right? Logic mm -hmm. behind that, like you said, is to put an out or put an out, a force out at any base, um, ultimately making it easier for the defense. Yeah, I mean, also, if you draw a walk like Oklahoma State did, mm -hmm. wins the game for OU. Right. It was logical baseball. It just didn't sure. work in Oklahoma State. Sure. Favorite. And I mean, the other thing is, is <clears throat> folks. I mean, this isn't football where you have like a 12, 13 game season. You got to keep in mind, there's like fifty, what, fifty four regular season games. So. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you still want to win every, I mean, you want to win every game. But I think coaches, you know, there's also, you kind of pick and choose your battles, so to speak. Um, how about another guy I, that kind of jumped out to me? I know you touched on the David Mendham home run, but Aiden Miola, he, he's a freshman. He, he got in there. First career, um, first career start. Yeah, first career start. He had a RBI single. Um, and then, again, Zach Earhart, man, that freshman from Tampa is doing really well. Uh, hits in 10 of his last 11 games, two RBIs tonight. And yeah, Daniel, it's weird. So Griffin Dorsey, you know, he's still out with his uh, broken left foot. And so you have all these younger guys that are really, I mean, really impressing and really kind of proving their worth that, hey, right, I might be young, but I, I belong <laughs> here just as just as much as the other guys. I don't want to say it's exactly transparent to last season, but um, obviously not to the severe extent, right? But obviously, right. you know, with, with all these – or all these the the injuries that Oklahoma State does have, it's giving them an opportunity to get these young guys a chance to play, a chance to prove themselves. And uh, as Coach Holiday said in recent pressers, post game pressers, that I mean he's really impressed with what the freshmen are doing, and yeah. it's going to bode well for them moving forward. Yeah, um, cool. you know, obviously, uh, obviously uh, they they want Griffin back, and good news for. Um, for Oklahoma State is that Griffin was seen in in uniform without a without a boot. Yeah. So I guess I, I, mean, I think it's safe to assume that that doctor appointment that he had yeah. uh, last week went well. But um, no official word from coach yet. 
um, obviously, but it's, it's, it should be encouraging for uh, Oklahoma State fans that Dorsing was um, out of a boot yeah. in uniform and walking Yeah, I, I, I mean, you're right. But the other thing, I, I, I guess I urge people to <laughs> kind of understand what I agree. The, the bottom line is, is that this guy broke his left foot about, what was it, about six weeks ago? Like, he, he, he broke his foot. I mean, I, I, I don't think you can ever really rush a, a return from that. I mean, that's that's a serious injury. And if you're a baseball player, you I mean, you you got to have your foot, right? right. If, if 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 you're uh I don't know, maybe if you play darts or if you play um, you know, if you, if you're a professional dart thrower, you're not going to need your leg, but in baseball, you're going to need your foot. Right, and as, I mean, I recall Coach saying it. He he was. Um, it wasn't obviously as severe enough to get surgery, but he was. Sure. He was close. He was sure. close, and uh, the 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 X factor being that. I mean, it, it wasn't broken enough for it to require surgery, mm -hmm. but he had a bone where if he put excessive amount of pressure right. on it or put too much weight on it, too much stress on it. Um, that bo some one of his bones would slide. It would make it obviously it would require surgery sure. at that point, but it would make it more severe than you know at that point. So as Adam said, rest is rest is imperative for him. But um, regardless, it's good to or good for <clears throat> um, for Oklahoma State that their mm -hmm. their power slugger that they got from right. Northern Kentucky is in uniform, out of his boot. And walking around. Okay, so the other thing, yep, yeah, Oklahoma State lost tonight, seven six to Oklahoma. But this weekend, Daniel, they'll be in Manhattan, uh, another big, big Twelve series against Kansas State, Wichita State in Wichita on Tuesday. Which, I mean, I, I guess I have to ask. Cause it's just me kind of being kind of nerd curiosity. Is if you go to Manhattan Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you would think. Do you, do you think they come back to Stillwater? I would for, for a day and then go I, back to Wichita, or are they just going to stay? I would stay? assume they stay. In okay, Kansas. I mean, but that's, what, that's what I. Think. I don't know. I don't know. Just nerd. Um, these are twelve eleven a.m. thoughts from Adam Engel. Uh, Daniel, anything else you got for us, man? Nope. Um, <clears throat> you know, eleven game win streak comes to an end, but um, you know, um, what a ball game we saw tonight. Yeah, what a ball game we saw good. tonight. Uh, Bedlam. Ten, yeah, Bedlam lived up to its name. Not only came down to the final inning, but the final pitch. Yeah. A good contest between two good teams, two great offensive teams. And um, you know, obviously, like like we said, came down to the final pitch in Oklahoma State, or Oklahoma rather, came out um, on top. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you later.